Welcome to Pro Practice, your guide to refine, enliven, and illuminate the piano repertoire. I'm Josh Wright, and today's episode is based on the Rachmaninoff Concerto No. 2 in C minor, first movement. I'm going to give you several different technical exercises to help you with certain passages, musical ideas, and uh, also some interpretation. For something this big and this vast, I will have to uh, be a little bit more specific with various places rather than taking you through every single phrase of the piece, but we'll get as much done as we possibly can. Uh, starting with the first chords, I went to my uh, teacher here in Utah and she told me something really amazing. Uh, she said, before you even start, why don't you just press this F down and then put it in your sostenuto pedal, okay? Wh what that does is it allows you to change, so in other words, when you put something down in your sostenuto pedal, that note is held, but everything else, you can change the pedal. So, so sostenuto is your middle pedal, you press this down, then push the sostenuto down, okay, and then you're ready to start. Michigan teacher and I went over is the fact, and I didn't even do it there, um, sometimes I, I forget to do it, but if you use three on these bottom Fs, you can kind of control the sound as it gets bigger, better than doing the side of your hand like this. This is a little bit harder to control that sound. It wants to be one broad idea going forward. Let's try that again. This is so important. The reason I'm spending so much time on just one line is because this is so important. Each one has to be a a gradation higher than the previous one. Got to make sure you use enough weight. Okay, here we go. See, I'm getting too loud too quick, and this has happened a lot in my practice. I'm actually just bringing this back today. Um, I figured I'd record a video, one of these pro practice videos, as I brought it back to show you some of the ways that I would bring something back, along with giving you tips along the way. I don't like to do too much crescendo on those first two. And a little bit more. Push forward just a little, so that you can give the time time there. And some people like to do it faster. It's really up to you. You do need to retard though. So wherever you're at, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay. Um, okay. So this next part, <laughs> I had a teacher one time tell me, he said, oh, this is like a silent movie. You know, the pianist is heard. And then all you do is that. <laughs> and he's like, it, the pianist is like the characters on a silent movie and then you just hear the orchestra. You don't want to be not heard. You want to be, you want to project as much as you can and it is really hard. Um, but... Do as steely of fingers as you can and I really like... Thundery bass. Okay, so let's try this from here. Okay, and I, I tend to like fingering, uh, for instance, one, two, one, three, five, one, three, two, three, five, one, two, one, two, five. What that does, rather than trying to do one, three, two, four, five, that's 
a very weak and uneven finger. Think of two positions. And, and practice like that. strength and you need to use your back. Um, if you haven't seen uh, Daniel Trifonov play, I would highly recommend watching him play, especially his Tchaikovsky concerto. He's I actually do occasional lessons with his teacher, Sergei Babayan, truly an inspiration. And uh, he said, it's not that you force it down, it's that you have to lift your body weight. <laughs> Also gives it kind of a cushioned sound while being just as big as possible. The worst thing is same thing on this Rachmaninoff. That's really gross sounding, but that seems overwhelming, and that seems like a beast is coming out. This has to be quite scary at the beginning, overwhelmingly so. I think of you know revenge of some sort on this first part, just growing. You're so incredibly depressed about an event. Perhaps a loved one has died, or they've been taken from you unjustly, maybe murdered, or uh, taken unexpectedly in an accident that you had no control over. And this is the revenge that you would feel. Good grief, yeah, and then you ruin it. Okay, here we go. so much for watching. As with all pro practice videos, the first section is free. If you'd like to view the rest of this video, or if you're interested in learning more about pro practice, just click on the link on this screen or on the link in the comments section below. Thank you for your support of pro practice.